Man of Steel is a modern reinvention of Superman's origin story, which narrates the tale of how the Ilian Kal-El was sent to Earth by his parents on Krypton before the planet's destruction. He is raised as Clark Kent, a young human with superhuman abilities, but struggles to find his place in the world. When an alien threat, led by General Zod played by Michael Shannon, comes to Earth in search of Kal-El, he must embrace his destiny as the defender of humanity and become Superman. The film was praised for its spectacular action and impressive visual effects, as well as its darker and more realistic approach to the character. However, some critics felt that the movie was too dark and lacking in humor and well-developed characters. The cast also includes Amy Adams as Lois Lane, Kevin Costner and Diane Lane as Clark's adoptive parents, and Russell Crowe as Clark's biological father, Jor-El. Man of Steel is an exciting action movie that brings a fresh take on the iconic Superman character. With impressive visual effects and spectacular action scenes, the movie is a thrilling adventure that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. However, some critics felt that the film lacks humor and that the secondary characters are underdeveloped. Nevertheless, Man of Steel is an exciting reinvention of the character that is worth watching for superhero fans. Man of Steel was the first film in the DC Comics Extended Universe, which includes other films such as Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice and Justice League. The movie grossed over $668 million worldwide, making it a financial success. What would have happened in Man of Steel 2? A new report suggests who the main villain of Man of Steel 2 would be, before Warner Brothers. Discovery canceled the project. With Henry Cavill officially out of the role of Superman, many fans were left wondering what Man of Steel 2 could have been. According to a new report, an early script featured Brainiac as the film's main villain. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Michael D. Luca and Pam Abdi wanted to make a sequel to The Man of Steel, hiring filmmaker Stephen Knight to write a first treatment of the script. According to the website, the classic villain Brainiac should have been the main antagonist. In previous information, it was said that Knight's proposal did not thrill Warner executives, who gave notes. Development on the Henry Cavill-led sequel ended after co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran took over the newly formed DC Studios on November 1. In December, rumors of a DCU reboot circulated after reports surfaced that Warner Brothers and DC Studios had cancelled Wonder Woman 3. Those reports also suggested that Warner was considering a cameo for Cavill's Superman in The Flash. A week later, Cavill and Gunn confirmed that the actor would be hanging up the red and blue tights for good. That said, as highlighted by CBR, Gunn left the door open for Cavill to return to the DC Universe in a different role at some point in the future. Instead of Man of Steel 2 with Cavill, Gunn is writing a Superman movie that will follow a young Clark Kent in his early days as a reporter. There's no word on who the film's villain will be, though James Gunn said he and Peter Safran will reveal more details in early 2023. Among Superman's rogues gallery, Brainiac has been a popular choice among fans for a Last Son of Krypton movie. Created by writer Otto Binder and artist Al Postino, Brainiac debuted in Action Comics in July 1958. In his first depictions, Brainiac is a green-skinned alien who travels the galaxy shrinking various civilizations, with the intention of restoring them in another place under its own government. It is worth noting that Zack Snyder also planned to use Brainiac in a Man of Steel sequel. The director did not detail whether this was the original plan before the project became Batman vs Superman or if this would have happened after Justice League 2017. He points out that he feels an extraterrestrial villain is ideal for Superman. We talked about a movie with Brainiac. I just think it's better to give Superman these extraterrestrial challenges, because I think you have to be careful with, besides Lex Luthor, because, of course, you have to continue with Lex, because Lex is your true enemy, but I think you really have to look outside. Earth for challenges for him because of how powerful he is, plans to include Brainiac in the sequel appeared to have happened early in development. Man of Steel 2 was originally announced before the first film opened in theaters, but when the film came out, the studio decided to shift the focus on creating the Justice League instead of a traditional sequel. But what about you? What do you think of all this? Leave your opinions in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you liked it, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. Your interaction is very important for the channel's growth. See you in the next video.